Hello chess friends and welcome to the Zara of Chess channel and welcome to another brilliant and spectacular game played by the most powerful chess engine in the world by Stockfish17. Today we see the fish battling it out against another top engine Viriditas in an amazing accelerated pawn of attack against the Karokan defense in which Stockfish will apply the so-called Capablanca structure, this uh, Capablanca attacking formation in which you line up your queen and the bishop and you're trying to deliver checkmate but you, of course you're then you're trying to deflect the defenders uh, of black uh, on the king side so I, I think it's really really thematic attack a very instructive attack by stockfish but then of course incredible incredible tactics all over the board so let's dive now into the game with the white pieces the fish open with the move e4 c6 here by viriditas the karokan defense and now we have the accelerated pawn of attack uh with delaying the move d4 here d4 is going to happen later but the issue is here after move d5 c takes d5 or e takes d5 uh the issue is now if the queen takes here on d5 then the knight will come out with the tempo uh with knight to c3 and then black would lose a decisive tempo maybe here even in the early stage of the game so that's why black continues normally with knight to f6 wants to grab this pawn uh with the knight we have now knight to c3 now comes this idea and again knight to f3 again stockfish delays any move so far uh here on the default we have now knight to c6 bishop to b5 uh, we have e6 and now finally casting here by stockfish 17 bishop to e7 we have now finally the move d4 and you see now uh, white has um, here maybe a tiny little strategic disadvantage this isolated d pawn which could be a, a problem but now what's good here for i would say for white is that in this idea when black is playing the move knight to d5 the knight gets a little bit deflected from the defense of the h7 square and now stockfish will try uh, an attacking idea here like bishop to c2 bishop to uh, bishop to a4 bishop to c2 queen to d3 will build this capablanca attacking formation this capablanca structure is trying of course to do something on this side of the board so it's i think a thematic attack useful maybe maybe you can apply it in your own games if you're having maybe problems against the karokan defense so we have now casting by veriditas rook to e1 by the fish of course including now all of the pieces in the attack and also um targeting maybe the e6 square where maybe the position could crack maybe if it's later possible the position could explode around the square e6 we have now bishop to d7 and now bishop to c4 putting more pressure against the knight knight drops back on this defensive square where it's protecting now the h7 square and now stockfish plays a very very interesting line uh, a3 which is great uh, i think this is a great prophylactic move by by stockfish because if you try something like bishop to g5 then in some lines black could try knight to b4 and then get this knight uh, into the game uh, again build this structure in front of the isolated d pawn uh, you want of course to block out uh, the position in front of this pawn so that's why knight to b4 could be very very useful uh, here for black in order to fix the position around the square d5 so a3 prevents that but a3 also liberates now this diagonal the new diagonal for potential light square bishop activity so we have now rook to c8 now stockfish includes the queen into the game with the preparation uh, bishop to a2 uh, bishop to b1 we have now queen to c7 and now bishop to a2 now comes this idea the progressive plan on this side of the board rook from after the egg bishop to a3 bishop to e8 and stockfish plays now a great great idea a really a beautiful theoretical novelty a completely completely new attacking method stockfish plays now the aggressive h4 immediately stockfish is not waiting any seconds here stockfish is saying i have now all of my pieces almost on the perfect square the queen is centralized the knights are on natural scores the bishop is also very active here uh, this bishop is also very active what we need to do maybe is just to include this other rook into the game and you built yourself very really an amazing formation so now stockfish launches immediately immediately a flank attack on this side of the board h6 by veritas rook from a to d1 bishop to d6 and now comes this idea bishop to b1 hitting now the h7 square knight to e7 and now the real fun starts so far both engines maneuver their pieces both engines try to find the best course on the board but now stockfish launches an immortal immortal attack with bishop to g5 the idea is clear of course after h takes g5 and h takes g5 if this knight moves uh, you're going to be checkmated uh, so that's why here first of all queen to c4 by viriditas viriditas is of course trying to simplify the game by trading off the queens stockfish retreats to c2 and now here a knight from e to d5 had to be played here by by black because if you try here knight from f to d5 if you <coughs> try to cement your position and if you try to 
keep your extra piece on the board then the issues you look at is first of all the check you can maybe temporarily cover with your knight here on g8 but then after knight to d5 queen to d5 the issue is after bishop to e4 uh, you get this one bishop to h7 and uh, the knight will be lost for sure the issue is here that the rook is not connected uh, here to the, to the knight on the eighth rank the bishop stands in between so even if you move this piece you lose then uh, the piece on on g8 so it wouldn't work here simply for black so in order to defend uh, black has to now give up the piece back in a different way now after knight from e to d5 stockfish grabs of course the knight uh we did it uh, takes now but controls of course now for the, the h7 score so but okay stockfish is saying so far you have defended now let's try uh, in a different way to attack further position so that's why stockfish plays now knight to e5 the problem is here you cannot pick up this knight with uh, with the bishop then after d takes e5 and maybe a couple trades of pieces again you get the same problems uh, you, and again the knight would be then deflected here uh, from the square h7 so that's why after knight to e5 veridit has had to tolerate now this very unpleasant knight now on the square and stockfish continues of course with its signature move with an amazing rook to d3 includes now all of the pieces into the attack now there are variations where you can maybe play rook to f3 rook to g3 rook to h3 wherever the position is allowing you wherever the position has to be attacked so after queen uh, rook to d3 queen to b6 by veriditas and now queen to d2 bishop to e5 we have now a rook to e5 uh, has to be played now by stockfish because if you try d takes e5 then knight to g4 is going to happen and then maybe after a couple of trades of pieces again uh, black can actually escape there's nothing that can be done you can maybe attack the knight but with rook to d4 uh, black would solve all of the tactical problems here even if you try to go for the king you don't have so much here even if you try queen to h7 then it will simply step back with your king and here look at this also f2 is 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 a weakness so this idea is simply not working here for, for, for white. So that's why rook to e5 has to be played in order to keep now all of the pieces uh, in the game. We have now rook to d6. Viriditas is trying now to battle against the idol of the d pawn, but now bishop to a2. Stockfish changes now the direction of the bishop and is trying maybe in some lines also to advance the pawn, which a player that has the idol of the pawn wants to do. Simply put more pressure here in the center of the board. Bishop to d7, b4. We have rook king to f8 and now rook to c5. Great move again by stockfish using now the most activity the most possible activity of the rook uh, because you cannot take of course uh, the rook to c5 is not working uh, because then also you get the fork with this pawn and the game is over so what should you do after rook to c5 if you try maybe to play here bishop to c6 to not allow here white to advance the pawn to d5 then b5 is going to happen and in one moment if you step back i've analyzed this line this wasn't playing the game but was i was really curious why Viriditas didn't continue uh, with his plan to create the blockade around the square d5. Now look at this after b5 and bishop to d7. Uh, here the most aggressive move would be actually g4. Look at this. Stockfish says this is perfect, perfect plan here. If you take, for instance, the pawn, then you get knight to a4. You have to step back and then with queen to f4, both of these pieces will be hanging and this is game over simply uh, here for uh, for for black so even if you try here rook to c5 in this imaginary position then d takes c5 rook takes d3 uh, then you can pick up here the queen and even if you pick up now the queen look at this although white is down the whole rook uh there's nothing get, that can be done this pawn is uh, going to be promoted for sure and again completely completely losing position here for for black even if you try i don't know here instead of knight to g4 even if you uh, don't trade off the rooks even if you try queen to d8 then rook takes c8 bishop to c8 and then g5 you have to step back and then when the knight is coming here uh maybe look at this then you get really, really too much pressure on the h file you have to maybe step back with your king and then after a couple more moves the position could collapse here in a potential line that i also analyzed at home so i'm showing this line because it was very very interesting for me to see that Viriditas cannot play the move bishop to c6 because of this very very aggressive method uh, with the move g4 really really wild stuff so that's why Viriditas tried something else um here Viriditas tried uh, a5 to somehow deflect this rook from this attack but stock which continues now obviously with rook to a5 we have now finally bishop to c6 rook to e5 here by the fish and after rook from the c to the a now queen to g5 great counter attack uh here by stock 
Vanquish putting more trash against Black's King and now simply leaving the uh, leaving the, the defense of the D4 pawn. We have now Rook takes D4, but Stalker shows why it was so important to play Queen to G5 because now there are several threats here around the square G7. And the good part is that this, the knight is controlling so far the D1 square. So great, great attacking formation. Look at this, where Stalker plays now both of these rooks and also created combined with the queen this very very unpleasant battery on the g file we have now knight to e8 must move here for uh Veriditas protecting the pawn but also preparing maybe to play f6 so that's why here rook to e3 we have now rook to d2 and now rook to h3 what should you do uh, here from black's perspective if you try here uh, king to g8 if you try to again bring uh, bring the king on a more natural square then b5 again this attack against this bishop you see through the whole game Viriditas has uh, the problem of the light square bishop if you step back to d7 then this rook is coming in on the f file look at this then rook to h8 i uh, wanted to show also this line because in a potential line you could be also checkmated uh here with the beautiful rook and queen activity so it's simply not working here you cannot really do so much the h file attack is very dangerous here now combined also you could get destroyed uh here on the f file so that's why for rook to h3 knight to f6 had to be played by Viriditas in order to somehow uh keep an active square here for the king we have now b5 again by stockfish again uh here Viriditas takes now finally knight takes a2 and now after rook to d1 check king to h2 and in this tactical sequence uh stockfish won the exchange but of course Viriditas can grab now also an extra pawn so the compensation for black is a minor piece uh and and the uh, uh and the pawn for the lost rook which is in my opinion simply not working here we have to also consider uh the endangered king position here by black so obviously this becomes now a one-way ticket but of course in white's favor so queen to b5 stock which simplifies the game knight to c3 knight to g4 check and here Viriditas took uh the rook but of course now after f takes e3 the problem is now the fork against uh, the rook and the bishop is um, here and in one moment again Viriditas again loses the piece Viriditas battles with rook to d3 Stockfish grabs now this uh, bishop and now rook to b3 a4 rook takes e3 and after king take uh, king to f4 Viriditas goes also for the uh, for the g2 pawn Stockfish continues with the check goes now for this pawn which is very important here great endgame technique again, again by Stockfish Stockfish wants to create now a very important pass pawn Viriditas takes out now this one Stockfish takes the pawn with the check black has to react and now knight to c3 not allowing of course this uh, rook to come behind this pawn and stockfish uh, is now marching with its uh, uh, passer on the a file we have now rook to g1 king to e4 g5 and now stockfish is trying of course to get the rook behind and simply push it further so what should you do now from from black's perspective if you try something like rook to a1 uh, if you try to do this in the game rook king to e7 has been played if you try rook to a1 then uh, rook to g2 is going to happen you may be trying i don't know king to g6 to push the f pawn but then again with this idea rook to a2 you have to step back in one moment and now white is simply pushing the pawn further and the issues even in this scenario this is not working because uh here the king is close enough to the action even if you promote here uh there is now this problem of rook to g8 and uh, the queen would be lost so that's the issue you cannot really go with your rook towards this pawn that's why Viriditas tried to get the king closer to the a pawn here is trying to defend this position somehow but Stockfish continues with the normal plan rook to a2 king to d7 Stockfish pushes the pawn further and even if you try to get the king closer again this wasn't playing the game but i was curious can really black stop now uh, this pawn on the a file actually it's not working because in this potential line um king to d4 then the king is coming here in c4 and now you get the king here you include now the knight into the game and the issue in one moment is that you could get even checkmated so look at this in uh, there is now a brilliant line that i've analyzed at home even rook to d8 is working for instance in a potential line rook to d8 and then knight to c7 would be also a very very spectacular checkmate here by white so that's why after a5 um Viriditas didn't even try to bring the clean king closer that's why i that's right rook to h1 stockfish pushes the pawn anyway and now gets the king closer and here after knight to b5 in this particular position Viriditas resigned so what's the issue if you play again f5 then this uh, rook is coming into the game f4 will grab now all of these pawns uh the knight is holding so far the position uh here and in this scenario when the pawns are taken obviously game over here for black so 
incredible incredible attack by the stockfish engine uh, in against the karokan defense i would say really really instructive capablanca attack here by uh by stockfish really, really amazing amazing attacking formation trying always to deflect this knight from the square f6 really thematic one i think it could be useful as i mentioned in your home preparation against the karokan defense so okay i hope that you enjoyed this game i really enjoyed it a lot interesting interesting attack again by stockfish 17 if you want to see some other beautiful chess games like this check out our commented chess games play by computer series here's the link of the playlist and if you like this content hit the subscribe button see you soon with some more videos and what do we say in the end chess is the best of course